What up, everybody? It's the 9th of November, 2021. Bitcoin is at an all-time high, but you know what's even more important? VeChain launching their first DEX. So let's get into that stuff because this is about VEX change. There's no going back. Please don't hold me back. Remember back in the day. Yeah, be real. I can't. So VexChange is coming, read the blog post. So if you already go to VexChange.io, you can see you can already swap and pull. So, you know, the standard AMM stuff, but let's read the launch information. So we recently talked about the impending launch of Vex, VexChange's governance token. In this article, we mentioned the initial launch would include yield farming subsidies for Vex VET. Since then, there have been numerous questions and this article attempts to introduce some clarity and to act as an FAQ around the launch. Why? So there's yield farming. It aims to incentivize VEX liquidity, expand the voting power of the, uh, to those who miss out on the airdrop and distribute the governance tokens to those who have the most skin in the game. So there was an airdrop, apparently, or maybe if you swap here now you get the airdrop not sure so let's look that up in short yield farming protocols incentivize liquidity providers to stake or lock up their crypto assets in a smart contract based liquidity pool well we all know how that works right so you go to pool you provide liquidity over here for example and then you get lp tokens and you can stake those for extra rewards when the yield farming is live so these incentives can be a percentage of transaction fees, interest from lenders or governance token. See liquidity mining below. So we are going to get rewarded with the VEX token. So the governance token. And these returns are expressed as an annual percentage yield. So an APY. As more investors add funds to the related liquidity pool, the value of the issued returns decrease accordingly. Uh, yeah, so... If a pool, for example, has a lot of VEX tokens in there as emissions, that will be equally distributed among the liquidity providers that are actually staking their LP tokens. So, yeah. So, the VEX change version 2 VEX VET pair will initially be the only pair with the yield farming rewards. So, that is important. And it will only be VEX. So VEX tokens will be the reward. And you need VEX and VeChain. This is meant to act as an example as and simple yield farming program. The goal is for governance to determine future programs. Once that module is complete and goes live, the parameters for the VEX VET farming are. So it launches today in two hours. So 13 o'clock, you'd see that's 1 o'clock. And that's like in one and a half hours here. So two and a half. So it launches 1300 UTC. That's in two and a half hours uh, from, yeah. So it launches today at 1300 UTC. That's in two and a half hours. Um, but when you're watching this video, it's already live. So 13,700 VEX day emissions. Emissions can be adjusted, renewed once per month. By governance, 5% allocation covers 12 months of emissions if governance does not make any changes. How do I yield farm? Well, that's easy. You just do this, this, this. So you de deposit VEX into the VEX VET liquidity pool. Once deposited, you will receive your VEX VET LP tokens. Okay, deposit VEX VET into VEX Change's yield farming interface and earn yield. So you can get VEX as the yield and you can claim an unstake at any time. You probably could risk impermanent loss or smart contract bugs. That, that sucks if they have something like this. I don't think so. They better not because they have been around for a long time. This article is from 2019, for example. Um, so here they introduce VEX change, but this is version one. So they have been around and yeah, if they screw up the yield farming contracts now, <laughs> that would just be, 
wow, that would just be crazy. So they have like 2,000 members in the Discord, uh, in the Telegram, I mean. So it's not that many. And on Twitter, they have, let's see, they have 10K followers. So yeah, that's nice. And they say the Uniswap of VeChain, but I don't think they actually talked to the VeChain project. They're just doing their own thing. So introducing Vex. Uh, this is from six days ago. So let's see. Vex is finally here. Um, so the Vex change launching today. It's being talked about here. Yield farming. And that the governance module is launching in the next 30 days. Vex change history. So the original Vex change version 1 launched in January 2019 with a great community feedback. Um, let's see, there have been minor subsequent improvements like the veto.exchange autoswap site. Yeah, so you can autoswap stuff over here. Uh, some UI rework and many bug fixes over the years. So if they still have bugs now in the smart contracts, that, that would just suck. Uh, the launch of version 2 was, however, the first major upgrade since VexChange started. We aim to keep V1's variable swap and admin fees, but we also sought to future-proof and modernize the protocol. The launch of version 2 represented the first step towards community ownership and decentralization. The introduction of Vex will be the next, uh, with the fast-following governance module being the final step. So, we are at, yeah, at this point in time right now. So, the Vex token, a retroactive airdrop for users who have traded and provided liquidity on Vex Change version 1. So I'm not a part of those people. Maybe you are, but I'm not. So if you are, congratulations. Just know that you are uh, receiving an airdrop retroactively. So that's good. A VexFed uh, yield farming program. So this is what we're going to focus on. The first 30 days will be run by the VexChange team. But after that, governance will control the rates and pairs. Also pretty interesting information. So if we have enough Vex tokens... You can vote. And with that voting, you can kind of control the rates and the pairs. So if you become a whale in the first 30 days, you will have a lot of control over this protocol. So that's interesting. So this is the airdrop info, snapshot block, 9 million, participation allocation, 320 VEX per address, uh, LP allocation, 2 million VEX, swap allocation, 1 million VEX, LP and swap rewards are weighted on your volume dollar value staked over time. So this is the info you need to receive that airdrop. But it will just be snapshotted. So it's already snapshotted probably. And your participation allocation. So the 320 VAX per address. It will just be airdropped to you. So you don't have to worry about that too much. Because, yeah, it will just be airdropped automatically. So, token allocation, there will be 100 million VEX tokens. So, now you know some of the tokenomics allocated as follows. 50 million on, uh, to the DAO treasury. 20 million founders. 20 million future team members. 5 million retroactive airdrop. And 5 million yield farming. There's no vesting here, by the way. So, this is kind of like a will protection. They have a two-year vesting program. So, they can't really dump on you. But here, there's no vesting. And no vesting for yield farming uh, kind of seems like a weird choice because, I don't know, you know how over at DeFi Kingdoms you have the vesting program and if you go to Cobra Swap, for example, or Viper Swap, you know, you also have that vesting program because that's a wheel protection mechanism. So... You can't access all of your reward tokens instantly. Uh, so you can't dump on the market like in one go. So it says locked balance and it says here, your locked balance will remain locked until December 25th. Your locked tokens will thereafter gradually unlock until December 25th, 2022. Um, so I don't know if if uh, VexChange is going to have a vesting program, but I guess not. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting, right? So, the idea behind the token allocation is to get the majority of the initial tokens in community members' hands and to let them circulate in preparation for the governance module. Okay, so they want to have circulation. Yeah, the vested future team and founders' tokens uh, align with the plus-minus two-year runway for further developing VEX change. 
It's expected that during this time, major dev work will still be spearheaded by the team and founders. Okay. However, the bulk allocation towards community governance represents treasury for the community to use to create a self-sustaining and decentralized exchange for many years to come. Cool. So we can control that stuff eventually. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, the DAO, Community Managed Treasury, opens up a world of infinite possibilities. We hope to see a variety of experimentation, including ecosystem grants and public goods funding, both of which can foster additional VexChange ecosystem growth. VexChange has set the standard for automated liquidity provision. It is now time to set the benchmark for responsible but radical long-term aligned on-chain governance systems. In addition to the 50% token allocation, the VexChange DAO, controlled by Vex holders, will be the owner of the VexChange V2 factory on mainnet, meaning it will be able to adjust swap fees, platform fees, and determine what to do with accrued platform fees. That's insane. That's crazy. Okay. So, unlike Uniswap and SushiSwap, the DAO will be expected to be more actively involved in managing the parameters of a VexChange version 2, ensuring that swap fees are set appropriately and liquidity is adequately incentivized via platform fees and subsidies. Uh, this type of optimization and decision making would not be possible with Uniswap's hard-coded 30 BP swap fee and one-sixth platform fee. Okay, so what's next? Yield farming and VAX retroactive distribution is today. Early December governance launch. So I think, yeah, that's going to go through. So that's next month. January 2022, uh, governance voting on development direction and early February 2022, DAO's VEX tokens, 50% of supply, will begin to vest three months after launch. Okay. So 50% of the, of the supply will be vested. That means that the circulating supply will go down here. So in February 2022, there can maybe be a price pump maybe anyway um interesting so if we go here you see that you can already buy some tokens so no vex yet <laughs> uh but if you want to connect to a wallet you have to connect to sync so you have to download sync so i've signed the certificate and now i am um connected it says new version is ready because I haven't used sync in a while. And I also don't have any backups. I don't have anything here. So let me just upgrade real quick. So it's going to install. So you get the sync wallet on your computer or on your browser. And then you can just send VChain uh, this way to the sync wallet. And then you can actually use it. So I'm not going to back, back it up now. But let's see if... If I just want to go here, so this is my card, right? And if I click that and I press this QR code thing, it says receive. So I have a QR code and a 0x address. I can just copy that 0x address, right? And I can just send it over. So I just bought some VeChain. And if I want to withdraw it now, it says network vet. And then here the amount. So let me just test it with a little bit because this is my sync wallet address. So the zero X la 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 D2 uh, minimum withdrawal is 200 vet. Okay. Let me just put 200 vet there then. Okay. So I just withdrew 200 V chain from KuCoin. So it works. So you can just paste your wallet address here, network vet and the amount minimum is 200. So you can see I have 200 v chain tokens now over here right so that's really cool and that means that i can do stuff over here so if i want to swap to vpu for example i can just put in 50 vet over here press swap confirm and then it says do you want to open sync 2 i'm gonna always allow Vex change to do that stuff and then I can press continue over here and I can swap vet for VPU. I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna wait until Vex is here and then I will buy Vex and I will provide liquidity. How that is going to go you will see in the next video. So I wanna thank you for watching. 
and see you in the next video, yo. Feet chain to the moon!